News Channel 3's Jake Ingrassia is live now in studio with more on those heroic actions of the dance hall worker who disarmed the shooter. Jake. And Karen, that 26-year-old wrestled the gun away from the shooter. He's now being hailed a hero. Police say it was that confrontation that could have saved lives. Brandon Shea came face to face with the gunman police say carried out Saturday night's massacre at a dance hall in Monterey Park. When I got the courage, I, I lunged at him with both my hands, grabbed the weapon, and we had a struggle. We struggled into the lobby trying to get this gun away from each other. Surveillance photos obtained by ABC News show Shea wrestling a semi-automatic pistol away from the suspect in the lobby of a second dance hall in neighboring Alhambra. Shea was unaware the man had just opened fire at another dance studio, disarming the gunman before he could injure anyone else. Actions Lieutenant Gustavo Ariza with the Palm Springs Police Department says are nothing short of heroic. I think the community is fortunate that he made that decision to act. Ariza says in active shooter situations, seconds can save lives. People should either run, hide, or fight, but it may not be for everyone to engage a potential threat. It depends on the person, whether or not they feel that they have the means or ability to do that. It takes uh, a special ability to meet violence with violence. One man stepping up to struggle with the shooter and single-handedly stopping worse tragedy. And police say if you aren't prepared to fight, the best thing to do is to get to safety using either of those run or hide tactics that can buy critical time for first responders or even a fellow citizen to intervene. Live in studio, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.